Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Tinkerbell. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. Under the circle, draw a curved line as a guide for the bottom part of the head. Don't curve the line downward too far or the head will be too long. Make the bottom part of the line pointy for the chin. The right tip of this line should end on the lower right side of the circle. Draw a vertical line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Curve the top part of the line so that it contours to the shape of the circle. Draw this line close to the left edge of the head. Now draw a curved horizontal line for another construction guide. Place this line close to the bottom edge of the first circle. Curve the right side of this line up. Make a small mark on the vertical line to help you determine where the lips will be. On top of the horizontal line, draw a small oval-like shape as a guide for the first eye. Pay attention to the distance between this eye and the vertical construction guide. Make the top right side and the bottom left side of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. The shape of the eye should be similar to a small football. To the left of the vertical construction guide, draw a similar shape as a guide for the other eye. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. This eye should be smaller because the head is slightly turned. On the right side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the ear. The ear should be similar to a backward letter C. Under the head, draw two vertical lines as guides for the neck. Don't draw the lines too far apart. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Use the small football-like shapes as guides to draw the eyes. Darken the initial shapes and make the lines thicker. Make sure you have the sizes and positions of the eyes right before you darken them. Use the vertical guide to help you determine the space between the eyes. Lightly sketch the eyelashes above the eye on the right. On the left side, draw a curved line along the path of the eye. Draw three small triangular shapes on the right side. Don't make the eyelashes too long. When you get the shape of the eyelashes right, darken the lines and shade the inside. Don't push down too hard on your pencil as you shade. Now draw the eyelashes on the eye on the left the same way. Draw three small triangular shapes on the top left corner of the eye. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Make the top of the eye thicker and darker. The eyelashes for this eye should be smaller. Draw a short curved line above the eye for the eyelid. Draw a longer line above the eye on the right for the other eyelid. Don't draw the eyelids too high above the eyes. Inside the eye on the left, draw a curved line for the first iris. This line should basically be a semicircle. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Inside the eye on the right, draw a big circle for the other iris. 
The top part of the iris should be hidden behind the eyelashes. The irises should take up a big space inside the eyes. In the middle of the irises, draw small circles for the pupils. Shade in the pupils but don't push down too hard on your pencil. The pupil and iris should be bigger for the eye on the right because the head is turned. Draw a curved shape above the eye on the left for the first eyebrow. The eyebrow is made up of two curved lines. Make the left side thin and pointy and the right side round. Draw a short line on the inner tip of the eyebrow. Draw the eyebrow on the right the same way. Draw two curved lines to create the thick eyebrow. Make the right side pointy and the left side round. Pay attention to how high above the eyes the eyebrows are. Now draw a curved line along the vertical construction guide for the nose. Draw the nose close to the eye on the left. Curve the bottom part of the line to the left to create the tip of the nose. Draw the bottom part of the nose along the lower edge of the initial circle. The shape of the nose should be similar to an upside down question mark. Below the nose, lightly sketch a curved horizontal line for the first part of the mouth. The right tip of the mouth should touch the bottom edge of the initial circle. Pay attention to how wide the mouth is in relation to the nose. When you get the shape of the mouth right, darken the line. Above the mouth, draw another curved line for the top lip. Don't draw this line too far away from the mouth or the lip will be too thick. Below that, draw a longer curved line for the bottom lip. Pay attention to how low this line curves. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Inside the shape, draw a shorter curved line for the mouth opening. Follow the curvature of the lower lip as you draw this line. Now darken the curved line on the right side of the head for the ear. Make the top part of the ear longer and pointier than the initial guide. Inside the shape, draw a wavy line to give the ear more structure. Above the eye on the left, draw a couple of curved lines for the first part of the hair. These lines should be similar to a curved letter V. Use the vertical construction line as a guide to help you place the hair. Add a few more short V-shaped lines to the right for more of the hair. Don't draw the hair on the right past the eyebrow. Draw a shorter curved line to the left as well. On the far left side, draw a wide V-shaped line for more of the hair. This line should be outside of the initial circle. Pay attention to how far to the left this shape goes. Continue to draw more curved lines at the top for more of the hair. Make the bottom tips of these shapes thin and pointy. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the back of the head. Follow the basic path of the circle but make the top right side of the head a bit wider.
draw a couple of curved lines to the left of the ear for the side of the hair. Curve the lines and draw them close to the eye on the right. Close off the shape of the hair at the top using a sloping horizontal line. On the top right side of the head, lightly sketch a circle as a guide for the bun. Pay attention to how big this circle is in relation to the rest of the head. When you get the size and shape right, darken the lines. Use a series of angled lines as you darken the shape for texture on the hair. The tips of these shapes should be thin and pointy. Now use the first initial shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. On the left side, curve the line to the right toward the eye. Below the eye, curve the line back to the left to create the cheek. Darken the line at the bottom, but don't make the chin too pointy. Darken the lines under the head as well to create the neck. Draw a short line on the left side of the neck. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. And now color your drawing using colored pencils, markers, crayons, or anything else. If you'd like, you can add a small circle to the left of each pupil for highlights. And that's it for Tinkerbell. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.